Hi, welcome to Zone TV. I'm Frank from Zone Music, and we're broadcasting from Studio E. We have managed to drag one of our favorite bands out of the studio and onto the stage here at Studio E. Let me introduce to you Hangman's Daughter. Here we are at Zone Music in Katati. Look at all these guitars. Look at all these people. And look at all these Korg keyboards. You gotta hear these great sounding synthesizers. And here's Tim Haggerty playing the new amazing Korg Trinity Music Workstation. Hi Frank. We've got PAs, microphones, keyboards, computer software. But you better get down here before these people buy everything. Oh, did I mention this was all at Zone Music in Katati? Hi, welcome back. We have a real special treat for you now. I want to introduce this band to you personally. This is Dane on bass, Simon on drums, Phil, lead vocalist, and Sean on guitars. This is a band called Freedom.
chatting with a band called Freedom. Um, something I really admire about you guys that I really appreciate it is that when, when we did our first Musicians Helping Musicians Benefit and the word was out in the press, you called and you called and said, we want to play, we want to be there, we want to be a part of it. And I guess you guys didn't know each other at that time, oh. did you? And you were doing Thursday Night Markets and everybody kind of knew who you were. You were, mm -hmm. were you performing at all? Did you ever been on stage? You had? I, yeah. I, I six years old. Six? Yeah. Wow, wow. That's pretty amazing. You have a song that you wrote called Delta Flight 221 that we're going to hear later in this show, but that was written as a reaction to being in Atlanta and to the mm -hmm. friends you made. And, yep. yep. Yeah. By Sean and his dad. Yeah. Excellent. So that's, that's um, um, the other song I wanted to ask you about was Defend Yourself, because that's a song that you wrote as a reaction. That's something, the Mark Kloss Foundation has something to do with that. Did you write that? in response to polyclos and all of what happened? Um, yeah. Um, one of the in engineers uh, of my CD, Never Give Up, hel right. helped me on some of the words and changed a few of the words and helped me a lot. But you had this idea, defend yourself. Let's hear a little bit more freedom.
That was a band called Freedom. Those are great young kids. Now time for our Julian Lodge update. Julian's still eight years old, but he's studying chord chemistry by Ted Green now. Carlos Santana had him up on stage at the Concord Pavilion. This is at a sold-out house and brought him on, and he ripped the place up. He introduced him to the crowd by saying, Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet the future. You guys already know Julian. Uh, letters. We got letters. Dear Zone TV, my friends and I were wondering, are we supposed to keep Zone TV a secret, or can we tell everyone at school about it? This is from Catherine in Forestville. Catherine, we're on at 11.30 the last Friday of every month. You know that. We're on every Friday night at 2 in the morning. And this is highly classified, top secret information. You're not supposed to tell anybody about that at all. Dear ZTV, how am I supposed to surf the internet and check on your website when I live in the trees and don't have a computer? Um, Starlight Earthling here from the West Coast. Well, Starlight, you, if you don't have a computer, you don't have you have to get out of your tree. You have to make your way to Katati and stop by the Internet Cafe, which is right across the street from Zone Music and the Crossroads Shopping Center. That'll get you on. Dear Ken and Frank, are you going to have Vince Welnick and Missing Man Formation back? How about Kerry Walker? Are you going to do an all blues show? Or at least get Michael Barclay on? How about bands from Mendocino? This is from I'm Stone. Does that say I'm Stone? Ian. 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 No, Ned. Ned Stone. Ned, the answer is yes. on bass, Matt on drums, Chris on guitar, and Sherry on vocals, of course. Um, this is a sneak preview of new material that you're getting from their CD that's going to be coming out, I hope, by December. That's when we're looking for it in the stores by Christmas. Here's Hangman's Daughter.
Sarah Baker, Sarah Baker, Sarah Baker. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, Sarah, the North Bay Area has had a love affair with you for many, many, many years. Thank you for oh. being here. Thank you for having me. Sherry from Hangman's Daughter was telling us, they're recording right now, and she was telling us that she uses this CD, maybe someday, as her inspiration. She puts it on. Oh, and that's I'm flattered. What, I know, it's amazing. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> she loves it. So you influence not only audiences and just people that love music, but musicians themselves, too, which is why I have mm. to sing. Well, I am so pleased to Will you do a song that. from this, from Maybe Someday? I would love to. Okay. Sarah Baker. That was a good pretend move, that last. I really, you have this smile when you finish something I really like. It's sort of like you go, like, thank ah, God, it's over. It's over. <laughs> I know, I do that. That's really terrific. That is really terrific. I love that smile. So you, um, you're a singer, a songwriter, a tap dancer, a, a performer, a teacher, and a keyboard player. What do you like doing best? What is the... Because I know your performance classes that you teach, or wow. students love them. What do you like doing? All the things that I do, I really like. You know, I mean, I can't, 
isolate them. You and won't say, be pinned down, will you? I can't be because I really love doing all those things, and they all nurture each other for me. They're all one thing in a way. Well, it's as a performer that I mean, we love that. That's oh, thank you. Yes. Well, I do love performing, but and you've I got have a performed we- for a long time. You've got a weird thing coming up too. You're doing like a audio visual strange project. <laughs> weird, Frank. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I do have a weird side, and I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Um, um, composition that's uh, a little more avant-garde and it's not my my traditional stuff and because I also like to study you know cl- uh, composition classical composition and this is going to have a be- there's going to be a video tie-in yes it's going to be a video and it's sort of a program music piece a symphonic poem that I'm uh, it's electronic composition Ooh. that I'm doing on s- uh, synth Ooh. and uh, and we think of you as soulful and you're doing electronic composition yes watch out I, yeah. I can I can get into that <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're also you keep writing songs, and that's mm-hmm. like one of the key things that you do. Really beautiful songs. Um, Thank you. The next song you're going to do is something you're doing for a project. What's that? What's oh, uh, it's a compilation uh, CD that Doug Jane's from Last Record Store. Yes, is uh, putting together. We support that project at yeah. Zone yeah. Studio All E. Right. That's a great project. Yes, it's a good project, and uh, this is a song that's from that. See, that's going to be on that CD. Okay, we'll check it out. Full of loose chains.
Help me.